oh my gosh, my like cord was touching my foot. And I was like, what is touching me? <laughs> it was so uncomfortable. Oh, I just, I thought it was a spider or something. Wait, I gotta, I gotta start over. <laughs> Hi, it's Tilly, and today's tutorial is on how to alter a leotard to make Sobe's base shirt, aka how to make and attach your own piping. To follow along, you will need a long sleeve leotard shirt or unitard, ideally with a back zipper. You'll find out why that's important in the future, aka foreshadowing. Sleeve material in black. I use Yaya Han's pleather black fabric from her cosplay line. A gold fabric, I used a pleather looking spandex. Cording, I unfortunately don't have the size for this cording. I got it like a decade ago and I just keep it in a plastic bag, but it's thinner than a pencil. Black and gold thread, as well as some pinking shears. Let's get started. Making your own piping can really enhance a project. Store-bought piping is fine, but when making your own, you can customize both the color and the size of cording you want. It's surprisingly easy with some practice and a zipper foot. To start, cut out your fabric in about two to three inch strips with the pinking shears. Alternatively, you can use regular fabric scissors and slip stitch the edges down for a cleaner look. Once you have the fabric cut out, wrap the fabric around the cording by placing it in the center of the strip. Pin it as close as you can to the cording. If you have one, a zipper foot will be your best friend as you stitch this in place. It's easy to have the fabric wiggle around, so do your best and go slowly. Once the piping is complete, you can always burn the cording at the edges to prevent fraying. Please do this safely. First, put on your safety goggles. Make sure they fit snugly. Make sure you dispose of that match properly by soaking it in water. Look how well she keeps her fingers away from the flame. Good job, Tilly Boom. Just dandy. For the base sleeves, first remove the section of the sleeve that will be replaced. Next, use a portion of the sleeve you just cut off as a pattern and cut it out of your sleeve material. Then, serge the sleeve pieces on all edges. Next, stitch the sleeve together and hem the wrist. Before you start to attach the piping, iron the seam allowance flat and turn it right side out. Pin the piping to the right side of the fabric and stitch as close to the piping edge as possible. To connect the piping, have them slightly overlap and trim the cording inside the fabric. Finally, fold the fabric over the edge of the cord and hand stitch for that clean look. It's looking pretty good.
Once the piping is attached, place the right side of the sleeve inside against the right side of the leotard. Stitch along the piping cord. You can use the cord as a guide. It can be an awkward small space to lay flat against the machine. My machine does have removable storage for sewing sleeves, but even then it was too big around. I recommend carefully moving the side of the sleeve you're not stitching to the side and stitch slowly. And now for the reveal. Overall, I think it turned out really well. The gold detailing really pops and breaks up the various shades of black in Sylvie's outfit. For lessons learned, I had the intention of adding the cording to the neckline, but realized I purchased a unitard that opens up at the bottom rather than at the back. I would need to add a zipper or create a placket at the neck in order to attach the piping, and it was just a little bit too much work to do before Halloween. But it's complete! And I'm happy with the addition of this little detail. It looks really nice with the overall look. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can find me on Facebook or Meta and Instagram at Tilly Boom Cosplay. We'll see you next time.